Okay, now we'll go uh, through basic features of W cells one by one. First, um, for every cell, we generate a graphic object in MapInfo as representation of that cell location and orientation azimuth. So the location in MapInfo would be rela related to longitude latitude information from text file. Orientation of cell would be according to azimuth information from text file and we can also choose antenna bandwidth meaning actually in this case band, uh, the width of, of cell uh, on a map. W cell supports separate tables and layers for various technologies and carriers LTE, CDMA, UMTS and GSM are supported and we can generate up to three layers per run technology. It's possible to color individual cell cells according to operational state. For example, inactive cells can be colored gray or and active cells can be colored blue. This is default and user can change the preferred colors. After selection of a particular cell, um, the program displays cell info window with basic cell information from um, the corresponding table. At the same time, message window shows the table that cell belongs to. If you click on a button with question mark, then you can search for a specific cell. You can choose a cell to be searched for from the list or you can write down yourself cell ID in uh, this text box. You can highlight cell or group of cells according to certain parameter values. One of the basic most needed features is to uh, highlight a selected cell and its neighbors. For 3G to 3G neighbors this button here is used and similarly the other two buttons for 3G to 2G and 3G to 4G neighbors. So the principle is first you select a cell, then you click a button, and then as a con final consequence, serving cell will be colored yellow and neighboring cell cells will be colored green. Of course, those um, colors can be changed by user at any time. If you want to color back all your cells, you can do it clicking on this button here. So here we have an example of highlighting cells with chosen value of primary scrambling code. One should click on this C button then write down value of a particular PSC and as a result cell with chosen criteria would be colored yellow or in some other color chosen by user. We can also highlight cells belonging to a particular RNC. For this operation we use button R. We can change the cell size on the map and this operation is applied to all UMTS cells in a visible map window. So in order to choose the cells 
that you want this operation to be applied on, you should actually choose the width and height of your map window. Similarly, one can change cell width of uh, UMTS cells in the visible map window. Then you can shape, uh, change or delete individual cells. This is an example of editing a selected cell. For example, in this case, azimuth of this cell has been changed from 0 to around 30 and parameter state is changed from disabled to enabled. So this is how a particular site looked before this change and then how it looked after. For, for changing for importing and updating basic UMTS network parameters, we use Excel files and we have provided a set of template Excel files for easily creation of um, those interface files. Then we have an option of uh, deleting cells of a particular technology or all cells which is typically used before a new import of all cells is done. To simplify map info layer operation we have several buttons, toggle buttons for toggling on and off terrain heights, routes, roads and regions. Those are all single click operations. In order to this to work there are certain rules to be applied for table names. You can read more of that in user manual. This is for example how this operation is done on uh, terrain heights so terrain heights can be switched on and off which is sometimes very suitable depending on what kind of information you would like to present other than cells. This is how it looks like related to regions. You can display regions on or off. Similarly, you can do the same with drive routes, so this is useful, for example, if you display at the same time the results of drive test results and drive tests and you want to compare if all your routes are driven. Similarly for roads, displaying roads on or switching them off from the map is presented here here. Then we can with a single click use, choosing this button we can visualize distance circles around selected cell. Those circles are at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 10 kilometers around the cell. And the last basic feature is switching the map window between one of ten favorite views and each view is centered around the uh, one to ten favorite cells. With the you first, the principle is first to select a cell and then clicking on plus you add that new cell to a list of favorites. You can print favorite cells in message window by clicking on P and after that you can click on 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up to 9 and center your map window around a particular favorite cell. This would conclude the list of basic features of W cells.